everyone welcome to sql problem solving series so into this particular video we'll be solving a easy level problem and we'll be seeing if so if you're interested into knowing how the self join can solve a particular problem so we'll be seeing into this particular video we'll be using the self join concept so you can see i have a table name as the employee into the first column i have the id name of the employee the salary of the employee and the manager id of that particular employee so we need to write a sql query to find the all the employees who earn more than their managers for example into the table you can see i have the id of the employee name of the employee salary of the employee and the manager id corresponding to that particular employee information is provided here and here you can see into the output i am getting the result of the employee who is earning more than the manager so let us see how to solve this particular problem so to make you understand this particular concept i have copied the same data set into my excel so friends you can see i have presented the same data two times now why do i need to do this so the logic which i'll be using to solve this particular problem would be so you can see i have the salary of the employee so somehow if i can get the salary of the manager also corresponding to the next column i will be able to compare the salary of the manager as well as the salary of the employee and from that particular condition we'll be getting all such employee names who are earning more than their managers so let us see how to proceed with solving such kind of different problems so friends here you can see this is the first table this is the second table and the manager id is present here so we'll be joining onto the basis of the manager id onto the very first table and that should be the manager id it should be equal to the id you can see here for example joe manager id is three so if i can get somehow get the salary of the employee whose id is three i can simply compare the salary of the employee and also his manager joe's manager so we'll be joining onto the basis of the manager id and the employee id into the second table so first of all we'll do a self join onto the basis of the manager id and the employee id so let's say after the self join has been done so what is the output which we'll be getting so here you can see three will be matched with three here so this particular row it will be copied so this particular row it will be copied here four here you can see the manager id is four will be matched with the employee id wherever it is getting as four and this would be copied and it would be presented into the output for null and null there is no manager whose id is null or employee whose id is null so these two rows it will be removed from our output and we won't be getting into our output after we have done a self join onto the basis of the manager id and the employee id so this is our final output which will be getting now friends if you would clearly see how easy it is for us to compare using the greater than symbol or the different mathematical operators we can just compare the salary of the employee which is 7000 and the salary of the manager which is 60000 because those values are just present into a single row and it is very easy for us to compare all such values so let us proceed with writing the code to solve this particular problem so i would just mention here select and a dot id this is the employee id a dot name this is the employee name a dot salary this is the employee salary and a dot let's say manager id this is a manager id of the employee now next to these manager id i need to get the salary of the manager so i would do a self join and i would get the salary amount from the second table of the manager so this is the manager salary from let's say employee join employee again on a dot so the very first table you can see here we are having the manager id we were having the manager id 
so i'll do a dot manager id is equal to b dot id i would do here so i would do here a dot manager id should be equal to b dot id here i'll just mention a let us run the code let us see what is the output which we are getting comma should be removed from here joe 70,000 so one is the employee id joe is employee name 70,000 is the employee salary three is the manager id and 60,000 is the manager salary we just need to filter out all those employees who are earning more than their managers so i would just provide here a where condition where the salary of the employee so i would just write here a dot salary this should be greater than manager's salary so i would just write this and i would again run the code so you can see we are just getting the joe name because he is the employee who is earning more than the manager because we just want to get the employee name so these are all such unnecessary columns but we just needed to include to make you understand into much more better way so i'll just remove all these columns from here and at the last the column name which they have mentioned here is the employee i would again run the code this time our answer is pretty much correct so friends i hope you had found this video very much informational and we have solved this particular question you seeing the self join so i hope the concept is very much clear on how we use the self join condition to solve a particular problem or use case for the self join so friends do like this video and also subscribe to my channel if you happen to receive such kind of useful information on a daily basis meet you in the next video thank you so much bye